In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create the cyborg effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Thrul here and as you can see this is the final output and this is the original image. Now to start this effect, first of all we have to create a new background. So for that I'm gonna first of all double click and unlock this. Then I will go and create a new blank layer and I will right click select my paint bucket tool and then I will fill in the white color. Then double click on your layer and select where is it gradient overlay. In the gradient uh, first thing you have to do is go and select your black and white gradient and in the black color you go and change it to gray tone. Uh, not very light gray though, a darker gray, looks good. It's same stuff we do all the time. Uh, hit OK, then go and change the uh, style to radial, reverse it so it's outside and increase the scale so it's really really softer. And that is it, simply hit OK, background is ready. Now I'm gonna go and put it under my layer 0. Now obviously we have to cut her out. So for that, uh, go and select your quick selection tool from here and I will do a quick selection. This is like the easiest image to cut out, you know, see selection is done. <laughs> After that, go and click on your layer mask here. So she is out. Then to make the edges little bit softer, right click on your layer mask and select refine mask. Then uh, you have to do nothing, just uh, make sure you make your brush a little bit bigger, use your bracket key uh, and paint around the hair like this. And your job is done, go and hit OK. Now we have to cut out the face where we will put the skull. So for that activate your image, then go and select your pen tool. Now even if you don't know pen tool, it's a really easy job. All you have to do is click and make sure instead of making a round shape, you try to follow the structure of the face and make it a little bit more interesting, nothing else. So I'm gonna go and do it as nicely as I can. So it's done, after that I will right click and I will select make selection and make sure it's zero here and hit ok. So the background and cutout is ready, now we can add in the skull. So for that go to your file menu and go to place. Now in the place go and find your skull image that you downloaded and place it. And then I'm gonna go and confirm it. Now I'm gonna put it on top of my background so we can see it. So skull is here. Then select your move tool and adjust it according to the size of your model's face. So it varies from time to time and I'm gonna make it a little bit stretch a little bit here because her skull is a little bit longer and our stock photo is a bit rounder. So looks pretty cool. So this is looking pretty good, then I'm gonna go and confirm it. Now to remove this parts, you right click and then first you select rasterize layer. So now we can use eraser. So select your eraser and just simply erase it. It's easy as that. See, now gone. Now there is a little bit of color on the skull that I don't like. So I'm gonna go to image, adjustment and then I'm gonna go to desaturate. So it's black and white. So the skull is ready but it looks really really flat. So for that go and select your model layer, this one here right. Then you right click and select blending options. In the blending option first thing you have to do is go and select drop shadow. Select it and increase the size a little bit. Now I'm gonna move it manually so we have more shadow on the face and increase it. Now as you can see it's little bit outside but I will show you a trick how to remove that. So for now I'm gonna go and increase my spread a little bit. Uh, only focus here on the skull, forget about this part. Then go and increase the size a little bit more uh, and a little bit distance. This is the most important part okay, this will give you the main effect. Looks pretty good. After that I'm gonna go and select inner globe. Now in the inner globe the basic work perfect don't change anything this, this is like the perfect so I'm gonna go and simply hit ok now as you can see it looks horrendous because it's everywhere so to remove that I'm gonna right click on my FX exactly not on the layer but on the FX button right click 
and then go and select create layers. The box will pop up, hit OK. Now as you can see our shadow and the glow they both are on different layer. So what do we do? We select the eraser and then you select your shadow layer here and then you remove it. Perfect. Now the same thing with the outer glow as you can see here. So remove it. Now the skull is looking cool but we can make it cooler. So <laughs> for that go and create a new blank layer from here then uh, select any kind of reddish color something like this pretty good hit ok now before you proceed this make sure you select your brush tool opacity is 100% and your hardness is 0% after that make the brush this big or maybe a little bit bigger than that uh, looks pretty good click now go and put this layer where under your model right here okay exactly here now on the same layer do one more click here a little bit here and uh, here after that go and change your color to complete white solid white then make your brush smaller like this do a click and a click then go and change its blending mode to screen and there you have it your lighting effect just like that now the background is more brighter than I need so I'm gonna go to my top layer and then I will go and create a new blank layer on top of everything. Then go and select my brush tool and my color is completely black. Now I will make my brush really large like, like this large. Then I will go and start painting just like this. After that I will go and change the opacity to somewhere around like 50%. Uh, yeah 49% looks perfect. So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, it looks much better. Now it's time to add in some contrast and for that go and create new adjustment layer and select levels. Now in the levels, uh, drag your middle slider on the right side and then this slider on the left side. So you can create some contrast. We are punching the shad uh, mid tones and the highlights. Uh, so use it as much as you like. I think this looks decent enough. Uh, then go and close it. So it's looking pretty good and now we have to add some glow on the outside. So for that go and create new blank layer uh, and select any red color. You can pick it from the eye too but not very good. So I'm gonna go and select this red, hit ok. Then I'm gonna go and do a click but this time it would be a little bit bigger. And this time it will also go outside on the face here like this you know. Then go and change its blend mode to screen just like every time. So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see the glow looks much better. Now we will change the skin color to make her look more like a cyborg. And for that create a new adjustment layer and select hue saturation. Now first in the master go and select the red because that's close to skin tone. Then go and change the saturation to somewhere around like minus 23. And increase your lightness to 40% or something. Uh, 45 looks good and in the hue go and change it to 16 then go and close it now as you can see the skin color looks dope but the eye glow is totally ruined so for that go and select your brush tool from here and make sure your color is black and the opacity 100% you have default layer mask here so now if I paint it here I can remove the effect from there see only from there so now this looks pretty good so now if I turn it on and off, only the skin gets affected and I can remove it from the hair too. So as you can see, now the skin looks much better. After that, it's time to add in the lens flare. And for that, go to file, go to place and find your lens flare image that you downloaded and go and place it. So we have different lens flare and my favorite one is the pink one, uh, rest I don't need it. So I'm gonna right click and then I will rasterize so we can erase it. So select your eraser tool and I will remove rest of the lens flare that I don't like. After that select your move tool from here and move it exactly on this eye. Then press ctrl T. Uh, hold your shift key and make it bigger a little bit and then I will put it here then go and confirm it Now the color of the lens flare is little bit different so for that go to image adjustment and hue saturation and There you can change your hue 
to match the color so i think somewhere around like 30 32 looks pretty good hit ok so the color is matched and it's looking dope now comes the final step and for that go and create a new adjustment layer and select color balance now in the color balance do nothing go to every tone uh, add a little bit of cyan a little bit of blue now go to shadows add a little bit of cyan a uh, little bit of blue uh, then go to your highlights and here only add a little bit of cyan don't add blue uh, then close it now it's really strong so you go and change the opacity to somewhere like 50% or something now if I turn it on and off it looks pretty good and your final effect is ready so I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and share this video with your friends and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions uh, feel free to ask me in comment section below till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop